so welcome back. What we are going to do today, well, let me show you what I got first. Since since the last video, I was able to take the bracket off. I had a uh, break in the weather the following day, so I was able to take the bracket outside and use the plasma cutter on it. But originally, this started out as two holes, and then I realized, well, I'd get more airflow in there and trying to lighten it up a little bit and make it look a little better. I just cut the bottom off there and on the top. You can see it on both sides here. I'll straighten it up still with a file to make it look a little better, but I know the, the bracket is still pretty ugly, but it's coming along. I'll soften the edges up a little bit, and then um, I'll cut some more on the inside here, and then I cut a quarter inch off here to get it to fit where the, uh, the bell shape is on the exhaust manifold, so it will go back. There used to be three-eighths of an inch. Oh, I need to... There used to be a little over three eighths of an inch between the exhaust manifold and the bracket there and I did something else. Where's the other one? I mentioned that this tube was four inch and then I made, and there was only two of them in the kit, so I made four four and three eighths tubes and then I was trying to put it all together and realized, you know, there's such a big gap there and I don't need it to come out that far. So I cut a quarter inch off of it, so now it's actually four and an eighth. Um, and then all four of them are attached to the manifold. Uh, you can see that there. And then, like I said, I'll come back and cut a quarter inch off of here so it ma uh, matches that one there. And then soften the edges up a little bit. And had to open this one up here to where the exhaust pipe would go down. And I'll show you here that in just a second. And then I'll probably do something the same here because um, everything here is just going to be cosmetic stuff. So there's really no structure strength in it. It's going to be more along the, the back wall here and then the corner because it's angle iron. So and any any uh, wind going down the road or the wind from the, the fan uh, off the engine will blow it through there cool the pipe down a little bit or just give it so flow give it some flow so it doesn't retain the heat in there so at least that's my thinking anyway so anyway let me show you what I've got and where we're at now what we're gonna do today is mount this elbow I've cut a little bit off already I've cut two pieces off it already just trying to get it to fit up there just kind of whittle away at it, and then that one goes up there. I know most of you guys know this stuff already. It's just fab basic fabrication. Um, but like I said, I'm going through this stuff anyway, so I might as well show you the, the steps as I go. Maybe comment on it. I'll learn something from it. So anyway, there's this one here. And as you can see, this one here, I just taped on there. Oops. I just taped this piece on there so that one goes like that this one i was thinking this piece here needs to go up still a little bit but if you look it's actually on the rise oops wrong way okay so there it is so it's actually um taller here in the front than it is in the back so i think what i'm going to do is leave this one as it is for now i'm going to pull this tape back off and then put a little little bit of a bevel to it just cut the the high side yeah i taped it on there pretty good something else i need to learn is when you're rounding corners there's people out there that can cut pie shapes out of these things, or even a straight piece. They'll cut um, the tubing at an angle, and then they'll make elbows with it. I have no idea how they do that, but it's something else I'll need to learn. So, anyway, that one goes there. Roughly about there somewhere. It drops into the... See into a little bit. Anyway, there's that one there. So I'm gonna sand a little bit off the bottom of it, and then that will go into there. 
So I'll make it fit better and then uh, tack it together and then I'll move on to the, the cold side of it. So let me work on this a little bit. I'm not going to bore you with doing all the sand fit, sand fit, sand fit, back and forth, back and forth. So um, I will come back when I've got it uh, fitting good. Be right back. All right, I'm back. I wanted to show you what I came up with. So the hot pipe is done. Um, you can see I've got it tacked in place there. That was the uh, the middle piece that needed to go in. And then it is clamped on the bottom there. You've seen this previously. And I just tacked it in there. And there's one on the back side there too. I've got the upper turbo attached, uh, or at least it's sitting in place. Um, this one fought me a little bit. This elbow here was a little bit narrower. It wasn't as big as the other one. So I had to run up and get a tailpipe expander to balloon this one out a little bit or to widen it. In the, um, anyway, the surfaces are flush there. And then, I, like I said, I just tacked it. I used a MIG welder on it just to, to get it real done, done real quick. And then I'm moving on to the next one. I've got the cold side now. I've got the flange that goes there. And then a couple elbows to work with. But the problem is... I forgot to notch the side here for the clamp to go on so the clamp doesn't fit so I have to break it all back apart again pull the top turbo off and probably that bracket and make room for it to clear and then start on the cold side so I wanted to show you what I had and I'll come back once I get uh, further along on the cold pipe so I'll be right back Quick update and probably the last of it, but let me show you what I got. I've got the cold pipe done. So uh, just a few seconds ago, I show, or mentioned that I had to cut this bracket. I had to pull it all apart to cut the bra um, bracket for clearance on that. And when I started holding up the different elbows that I have, it wasn't going to work. It was too much of a, a bend from here down to here. So I started rotating the compressor housing to try to get a better idea of what would work out so this actually worked out really well so i just used two short elbows oh here's a part number on it these just are pieces from napa so if you want to if this is something you decide to do in the future or even exhaust in general um, they have a lot of exhaust pieces so and then the long piece i used is 41 685 it looks like but anyway so you can see that there and then that goes into the, the boot on the bottom there. The clamp is just sitting. And what else? The mounting ring is just tacked in place, but it turned out really well. So there's two short elbows tacked together. And then I cut one of the, the longer ones down because it went into the boot. And then I can roll a bead on the end of it. And then this just turned out to be a straight piece. So... It uh, turned out really well. I didn't expect to get this. I didn't get it. I didn't expect to get this far tonight, but it uh, just kind of fell together once I figured out the angles I needed. So they're just tacked for now. I'm going to have somebody TIG weld them together to make them look better. But one thing I do need to find out, I don't know if I'm going to take this apart and put it on the engine in the truck. I have uh, another block here. I might set the cylinder head on, but the... I don't know, it's the best place you can see it, but the oil filter housing sits back here. And that was going to be the only thing that will interfere with it. And it's going to be really close. So um, that would probably be the next step is checking to see if it's going to hit the cylinder or hit the oil filter. But decided to put the turbos on the engine itself so I could check the clearances. I thought more about it and one of the other... Uh, clearance issues that it had it's like well I don't have it here now but the pipe that ran around on the back side it comes outward here and then there's part of the firewall that has a, um, a cutout to it not really a cutout it's more of a I guess a, a recessed area but let me show you out there and before I go out there I wanted to say that I really screwed up because after I had it assembled onto the truck I forgot to film it so there's I don't have any f video footage of it I took a bunch of pictures but unfortunately no video so that'll have to be on the next one 
and uh, I'll put the pictures at the very end of this uh, video so you can see that and then um, I've got a bunch of parts ordered they're supposed to be in seven ten days and I have to build the uh, well I'll just show you out there So let me start with the cutout in the firewall right there. I was concerned that the pipe that runs around was going to hit it, but actually it um, it leaves enough room. There's about an inch clearance on there. Wish I for, wouldn't have forgot to film it. But the um, anyway, the pipe goes along here, and then the other concern was, is it going to hit the oil filter? And it does clear the oil filter, so that's not a big deal there. And then the other thing is will it clear the firewall as far as the main exhaust pipe off of the turbo and there be there is enough room in there and you can't see it but on this lip here it probably goes up an inch on the back side there so i'm probably gonna cut some uh, notches in there and then just fold fold it over to give it a little bit more room so once i get that reinstalled in here then i'm going to what has what is left is the the fresh air that goes to the top turbo and then this one here for the charge air cooler that's on the top and then the the lower turbo i think it's the lower yeah the lower one attaches to that so i've got roughly i've got the other parts ordered it's supposed to be like i said seven to ten days and then uh, i'll be able to finish the rest of that and then I'll have some video for you on that. So that's all I have for this one. I wish I would have filmed that for you. It's, it was between uh, being excited about how, how everything went in there and it cleared. I was pretty excited about that and um, just for whatever reason I just forgot to film it. So let me get this one posted and then uh, I'll get the next one going as soon as I can. But um, I appreciate you guys watching and uh, following along on this adventure and what else i think that's about it so anyway until the next video appreciate it